Hello. I just wanted to recap on uh, an email that I had written a while back. Uh, I wrote it actually in December 26, 2009, and the title was If I Only Knew. And uh, I thank all of y'all that wrote. Uh, I had gotten dozens of emails back uh, that were very, very good, and I thank y'all. Uh, I only had one negative one, and uh, it's funny how us as humans that no matter how many good things we get, good compliments, we always just concentrate on that one negative. And, uh, well, that's what happened to me, unfortunately. Uh, nevertheless, uh, I guess that brother just didn't get where I was coming from. And, uh, anyway, I wanted to talk about that a little bit right now. If I only knew, uh, the point of the email was that if I only knew some of the things that I knew, know now, you know, as far as the word, as far as the word being concerned, um, you know, I might have done things differently, you know, if I had been taught these these truths that are in the Bible, I might have done a lot of things differently. Um, one example of this is uh, I have tattoos. I got them before I was saved. However, I didn't know the Bible said for you not to get them. Um, you know, I know people twist the word or whatever, but it's in there. Uh, nevertheless, you know, there's several things in the word that are true that we take for granted sometimes or we've never heard of before and we hear things taught in the church and they're not they're not found in the Bible you know I encourage us as Christians to live this life to stop playing church and to just be what Christ told us to be you know we're supposed to be different than the world we're supposed to be set apart and um, actually the Bible says we're supposed to be holy a righteous people but um, it's very rare that you find anyone that even knows what it means to be righteous what it means to be holy. As a matter of fact, all you hear in the church is that we can't be perfect, but the Bible says several times that we're supposed to be perfect, just like He is perfect. Uh, I encourage you to search that out and find that truth for yourself. Um, nevertheless, on this, uh, if I only knew, the reason I wanted to bring it back up was because I talked to someone today and uh, you know, the, they just got a new tattoo, and they call themselves a Christian, and, and I had mentioned to him if he knew that that was in the Bible, and he didn't know. And, uh, you know, so that led us into a conversation, and, and uh, we started talking about fornication, and he knew that fornication was wrong, but yet he had never heard it taught, even though the Bible does speak about it, he never heard it taught, never heard that it was really that bad of a sin. However, Jesus himself said that if we even looked with lust, you know, that, it, that it's a sin. So he kind of made the law, uh, I don't know how to say it, maybe made it a little bit harder for us, you know. Because if, you know, it's easy for us to say, well, I didn't commit adultery. But yet, Jesus said, if you even look at a woman with lust, then you committed adultery within our heart. So, you know, even though people are trying to say that the law's done away with, um, it's not. But anyway, people are trying to say that it's done away with. And they try to sugarcoat sins nowadays. And um, so he didn't, he didn't realize that fornication was that bad of a sin. And um, so anyway, we talked about it. And... and it kind of blew my mind and it kind of aggravated me in a way because there's so many pastors out there that are just not teaching the truth. They're not teaching their flock. They're not even concerned about their flock. You know, uh, you know, the church has become a revolving door. And and I'm not speaking about one church in particular because I know people are going to get convicted and call me or write me angry. And that's fine if you want to do that. That's fine. But I'm speaking about the church in general. The Bible says that that the church will be judged and then the nation and our nation is being judged. You know, we see so many things happening around our world and in our own nation. Even President Obama himself said that we're not a Christian nation. And um, although I don't support him, uh, I have to say I agree with him on this because uh, there was a study done said that 97% uh, of Americans are Christian. If that's true, then we wouldn't be having all these... Uh, things that are going on in the world, you know, in, in our nation, all these uh, atrocities, you know, uh, uh, abortion, uh, child molestation, uh, you know, murders, you know, it wouldn't be so high if 97% of Americans were Christian, you know, so obviously we've lost that and, and I first want to point the finger at us because as individuals, we should be reading the Bible, we should be learning these truths, we should be growing, the Holy Spirit is our teacher, not a man. However, many people do go into the church not knowing anything, 
And when the preacher tells you that it's okay that you can live in sin and do whatever you want as long as you accept Christ or as long as you say this little prayer, you're going to make it, then they're lying and they're deceiving. And uh, their blood, that person that believes that, their blood is now on that preacher's hand, although the preacher will say, well, I only lose a crown or I only lose a jewel in my crown. You know, that's just hypocrisy. You know, they, they've twisted the word and perverted the word so much that it's 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 a sad thing. And that's why I'm making this video because... It's just driving me crazy, you know, how, how there's so much error out there in the church and the world sees it. The world knows that their church is full of hypocrites, but yet the church believes that they themselves to be saved because somebody that, that's not saved told them that they're saved. You know, we need to be careful and, and uh, if this convicts you, then good. You know, you may need that wake-up call, you know, and who am I? I'm no one, you know, I'm just a regular person and I read the Bible and I believe what it says and I try to live the life and I think that all of us should be doing that if we call ourselves Christians you know um, there's so many things in the word that point us how to live but yet we twist it and want to live how we want to live you know and um, nevertheless if I only knew if I only knew the things that are in the word if the preachers were preaching the truth out of the word you know stop going to these books and stop going to these websites and just stick to the word. What's wrong with the Bible? You know, you don't have to add to it. I mean, it's perfect. It has everything we need. You know, God is so sufficient, you know, and, and it's offensive, you know, to see that, okay, the gospel is perfect and good, but let me add this to it and let me tell you this and do this, you know, and, and that's just hypocrisy. You know, God is perfect. His word is perfect. Everything about the word is perfect you know Jesus is perfect the law is perfect the word says it but uh, anyway I'm sorry back to the point is that if you're a preacher out there you need to start preaching the word to your flock don't get mad just preach the word there's nothing hard about that um, if you're not preaching the word and you're going into books or whatever then you're gonna lead people astray it's just that simple you know, uh, I used to think that this was just a, a national thing happening somewhere else, but I've been to so many churches in my own city, and there's so much of this going around. I just, it, it, it just blows my mind. You know, our our children are already being affected by the school system and telling them all these lies, and now our church isn't even giving you any foundation. You know, I just, I don't understand it. I pray that that people that that are in these positions will repent and just get into the word you know the Bible says we're not promised about tomorrow today may be our last breath so what would you do with that would you be happy with the way that you've taught people you know is your pride in the way to say well yes I'm perfect and I'm doing everything that I'm supposed to you know sometimes we think we are and we're not I'm guilty of this as well you know and it takes a trial for us to realize that we are so far from what God wanted us to be and it's time for us to repent and change our ways if we're supposed to be a light to this nation then we should start shining don't you think you know um, I just pray that that people will receive this with a humble heart and you know if the attacks come so be it you know I mean whatever but uh, for those of you that are truly seeking like myself just get in the word that's all you gotta do just get in the word and man you know these past few uh, uh, weeks I've been uh, observing the Sabbath with my family and what a blessing I can't believe how much I've been blessed just by that small little thing that I've changed in my life so praise God and continue fighting this fight continue walking this walk and remember we're supposed to be set apart and different from the world so let's start doing it God bless you bye